Hello and welcome. Uh, so one of the things I get asked about the most, uh, both here on YouTube and throughout Instagram uh, and on my website as well, is how I plan a day out in the hills and what uh, weather forecasting apps or websites I use um, to make sure that conditions are suitable. Um, so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what I use. Um, so hopefully this gives you uh, maybe a slightly better idea of uh, what the weather will be like next time you're out in the mountains. So yeah, we'll jump straight into it uh, and I'll run you through uh, the various websites and apps that I use. Here we go. So we'll get straight into this. Um, so as you can... Right, here we go. So we're going to get straight into this. So as you can see, the, the first uh, website that I use here is uh, a site called Wind Guru. Um, so just a great one for quickly checking weather um, conditions both at the, the coast and also in the hills. Uh, so a quick rundown, so it looks like Tuesday the 1st, that's today, uh, wind speeds of between sort of 13 and sort of 20 miles an hour, um, but it is gusting 40 um, and that's sort of, that's the main one really, that's the one that's going to affect you quite a lot in the hills is the gusts. Um, so yeah, pretty windy today. Below that we've got wind direction. Um, so as you can see, it is westerly. Um, below that we've got the temperature, 9 degrees, and then we've got freezing level below that. So today, freezing level around about um, sort of 2,500 to 3,000 metres. Uh, and then we've got cloud, um, different types of cloud here, cloud percentage cover. Uh, so high cloud, mid cloud, and low cloud as well. So quite a lot of high cloud today. Uh, and below that, on this line here, this bottom line, we've got the precipitation. Um, now these stars here, these wind guru stars, because this uh, website is aimed more at things like windsurfing, and sailing and kiteboarding, stuff like that, surfing. Um, it will give you stars for higher wind speeds, but that's not what we want if we're out in the hills. So yeah, brilliant one to look at quickly. Um, uh, this is the first one that I'll check. So wind guru is the first one I'll go to. So wind, wind direction, temperature, temperature level, uh, and then cloud, cloud height, and also precipitation. Uh, the next one I'll check if wind guru is looking good, and it looks like I'm going to be heading out in the hills the next few days, will be the Mountain Weather Information Service. So these guys do a bit more of a, a specific mountain forecast. Um, anyone that spent any time in the hills may well know of them already. Um, so brilliant on on the on the right hand side here on the on their uh, homepage, they do a uh, a weekly forecast, um, but they do a load of forecast videos here. So they're really good to watch. They often highlight uh, various weather patterns uh, over the next week or so. Um, but yeah. We are looking at Snowdonia National Park today, um, so we'll go over here, click on Snowdonia National Park, uh, and as you can see, um, we've got a, a sort of a summary for all mountain areas, headline for Snowdonia National Park below that. So today, just a bit windy, a bit wet, and pretty breezy, so gusts of up to 80 miles an hour uh, on the tops, potentially. Uh, tomorrow, it looks like uh, less wind, um, drizzly. And Thursday, um, still a bit breezy, a bit windy, but the temperature level is dropping. So yeah, I'll have a look at Mountain Weather Information Service. Just have a quick look through their three-day forecast here for Snowdonia uh, or Scotland or wherever I might end up being. Um, and the next thing I'll have a look at if we're heading out in the winter, um, especially if it's during sort of a period of heavy snow, um, will be the size avalanche forecasts, uh, Scottish uh, avalanche forecast here. Um, so we can see all the different areas here, um, the observers blog. Uh, they also have a brilliant um, Scottish avalanche forecast. Uh, they also have a brilliant app on the phone, um, which is, uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend guessing if you spent any time out in the hills in Scotland. Uh, below that then we've got the uh, Met Office synoptic charts. Um, this will give us a bit more of a, an overview of what's going on a little bit out to sea and what might end up hitting us over the next few hours or the next few days. Um, so as you can see today, uh, we've got this low pressure up to our sort of northwest, which means we're just getting a load of these northwesterlies, but it's not actually that cold. We've got this high here, 
uh, and that's just sort of sending a load of sort of milder air up over the south here. Um, so yeah, as we can see, as we go on throughout the, the week, those, those bars start to um, widen a little bit, so the wind does die off a bit. Um, but the, the good one to look at here is the uh, 546 line. You can see this little dotted line here. Now, if the 546 line is over the UK, that means we're going to be in much milder, um, warmer weather. Um, it's kind of tropical air, really, from the south. Um, and then we've got the 528 line, this line here that's hovering way up above us here. It's kind of cutting through the Faroe Islands at the moment. Um, so, yeah, that 528 line, uh, if that drops down over the UK, it means we're going to have snow. So if we head on uh, throughout the week, so this is sort of Friday, um, so nearing the end of the week, we can see that that 528 line has dropped right down over the UK. Uh, which means we're going to have a really good chance of snow uh, on higher grounds especially uh, you can see it's right down over wales or just creeping into snowdonia anyway but yeah good for scotland that lots of snow on the way potentially um, so yeah if that all looks good the next thing i'll do is head over to the met office uh, website so the first thing you can do is have a quick search so where do we want to go let's see where we want to go up snowden um, this gives us uh, a brief overview if any of you have um, used the Met Office site before. Uh, I'm sure you'll have seen that, all this stuff. So we've got wind speeds, wind directions, uh, the weather, temperature, what it feels like, so the wind chill factor there. Um, but this is quite specific and, and generally in the mountains um, it's very changeable and, and it's better to have a sort of an overview of, of what's going on. Um, so if we go up here to weather and climate, we'll click on the specialist forecast. Uh, we've got three options here. We've got the coast and sea, mountain or space weather. Now, obviously we're not going to space, we're heading up a hill. So if we head into the mountain weather forecast here, um, we got a quick little intro there. Um, there's a load of different stuff here, mountain ob observations, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, we've got a map here with all the, the different uh, mountain areas in the UK. We're heading to Snowdonia, so let's have a look here. We've got um, forecast for today, tomorrow, and then we've got a further outlook as well. Um, but what we want to look at, we want to know what the weather's doing today and tomorrow. So it looks like we've got a weather warning, so that's for gales. Um, pretty windy today, as the, as mountain weather information was telling us. Um, which is correct, pretty windy. Um, so yeah, we got the uh, the weather at 800 meters. And uh, here we go, we got wind speeds, wind directions. This is quite useful. So you can see in the valley here this morning, 17 miles an hour, um, but at 900 meters, it was 38 miles an hour. That's, that's sort of wind speeds, um, constant wind speeds. Now it's going to be gusting a lot stronger than that. So as you can see here, the Met Office, they were sort of forecasting gusts of 46. Um, but yeah, we, we probably stronger than that today, actually, knowing how strong it is down here at the coast. Below that, we've got temperature. Um, as you can see, valley bottom, it's uh, a lot warmer than it is up on the summits. Um, so if you're setting off up a hill and it feels warm down in the valley, but it is quite windy, uh, definitely take a lot of layers because at the tops it's going to be at least half that temperature um, and below that we've got the feels like so that's the sort of the uh, the wind chill effect there I wouldn't worry too much about that but the the, the good one to look at here is the uh, the overview that um, they update here every day um, so it's yeah worth having a look at that uh, and if that looks good uh, and I'm heading out today or tomorrow, I'll have a quick look at XE weather. So this is great for current uh, weather conditions. So we can see for Kapalkidig today, so Kapalkidig down in the valley there, 31 to 46 miles an hour. Um, so that's pretty strong down in the valley. So at the tops, it will probably be gusting, you know, 60 plus miles an hour at least. Um, so yeah, great one to look at for sort of current conditions. And they also do a wind forecast map and weather forecast map as well. But the wind forecast is good. Um, they're pretty accurate. Um, there we can go as we run through. We can sort of see as we as we progress throughout the week. This is that colder air coming down from the uh, from the north there. Um, 
yeah, after that, I'll head over to Windy. Now this gives us uh, sort of a 10 day forecast, which is quite good. Uh, it'll give you a good idea of what's on the way. Um, so the first thing I'll do is if I'm heading out in the next day or so, I'll have a look at the wind speeds and wind directions. Um, so it looks like today we've got those sort of westerly, west northwesterly winds. Um, quite strong this morning, but it is dropping off throughout the day. Um, but I'm looking at tomorrow. So tomorrow, wind speeds of you know, southwest, but probably more likely to be westerly in the mountains, uh, 50 miles an hour. Now, the one thing I would say with windy uh, is on the coast here, we can see it's sort of 15 miles an hour. But if I'm uh, to click onto the mountains here, it's eight miles an hour. Now. That I would definitely take with a pinch of salt because if it's windier at the coast than it is inland in the hills, um, it's likely to be just as windy in the mountains. So if it's windy at the coast, it's going to be windy in the mountains as well. So don't sort of um, take their sort of wind speeds uh, as gospel because, um, yeah, from uh, from experience, I know that uh, it's usually a lot stronger than, than is forecast on here. So that's the wind, um, and in the in the winter we've got uh, options here for new snow, snow depth, and precipitation type. So we can have a look. So we've just got rain, 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 rain. Um, looks like pretty much all week. Um, so over here on the right we can see the type of precipitation. So if we head up onto Scotland, we can tell that there's you know we've got white here, so there's going to be a whole lot of snow, which is good. Uh, and then we've got new snow and snow depth. So you can sort of use those to run throughout the week and uh, that'll give you a good idea of what's coming on the way. Uh, and if there looks like there's gonna be snow, um, if Windy is showing that we're gonna have snow, uh, I'll have a quick look on the net weather uh, snow risk map. Um, so you can click here, animate, uh, and that'll just give you a run through uh, over the next week or two of um, chance of snow so we've got here the different colors so that's the um, snow risk chance percentage so the the uh, sort of the darker the color here um, the, the better the chance there is of snow so as you can tell up here in Scotland there's a, a good chance of snow over the next week which is nice um, so all these numbers here that's the the freezing level so these lines with the numbers on them so freezing level up in Scotland around about 300 metres on Thursday, um, Thursday night that is into Friday. Um, but down here in Wales, freezing level is around about the summits. Um, hopefully that lot lowers. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything that I'll check. Um, one thing I would note is on Windy, you can cycle through the different um, wind charts here and the different. So we've got ECMWF, as we can see up here horrendously windy up by Iceland. Um, GFS, Icon, and we've got a few more as well. Um, yeah, the other great thing about Windy is you also have the, the webcam tabs here. Um, so all of these webcams are very, very useful. So we can see here, we've got the Ogwen Valley Mountain Rescue webcam here, which is one I check whenever I'm going to head out into the, the mountains here on Snow, in Snowdonia. Um, I'll have a quick look at this. This will show me exactly what the weather's like. Um, it updates every 10 minutes or so, I think. Um, so yeah, brilliant webcams there. Um, we've also got a few of the, uh, the ski webcams up here um, in Scotland. So we can see here in Glencoe, it looks like it's a bit damp, um, but there is snow uh, higher up. Um, but yesterday, it was uh, much snowier, so we're in much warmer air at the moment. So yeah, that's kind of what I look at. Um, the best thing to do when looking at forecasts is take all of them with a pinch of salt. Look at as many as you can, and uh, the weather will probably be somewhere in between all of them. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helped you. Um, but yeah, that's what I use. If you have any other suggestions on um, other weather forecasting websites or apps, um, that you use, uh, please, leave, please leave a uh, comment down below uh, so I can check those out. That would be great. Uh, but yeah, that's what I use. Uh, so hopefully that helped you. Um, thanks for watching. And yeah, we'll uh, see you again next time.